Muscles are the specialized and supporting tissues of human body. They provide excitability, contractibility, extensibility and elasticity. Human body is consist of about 639 muscles, which takes about half of the total body weight of an adult. Muscle formation takes place inside the womb of mother, and hence no muscle formation occur after birth. If we talk about the type of muscles they are of three main types. First, skeletal muscles. Second is smooth muscles and the third one which is only present in heart is cardiac muscles. Muscle is a fiber in fiber arrangement of myofibrils. Muscle is composed of fascia with a covering named as epimysium. Each fascia contains a number of fascicles, covering perimysium. Again each fascicle contains a number of muscle fibers whose covering is known as endomysium. Muscle fiber also contains many myofibrils which contain a large number of zacomias. These zacomias are known as the functional unit of a muscle. If we talk about the structure of a sarcomere it is consist of actin and myosin filaments, whose arrangement forms different bands like I, or light, band and, A, or dark band. Now let's move towards the actual process of muscle contraction. The signal of muscle contraction from the brain travels by depolarization in the neurons, when the signal reaches to neuromuscular junction, opens the calcium channels present on the neuron. This leads to influx of calcium ions inside the neuron. Calcium ions leads to release of neurotransmitter chemical known as acetylcholine. This acetylcholine binds on the sodium channel present on the sarcomere and opens the sodium channels which leads to influx of sodium ions inside the sarcoplasm. This potential gradient causes the activation of the calcium pumps of the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Sarcoplasmic reticulum releases huge amount of calcium ions. These calcium ions binds on the calcium binding site of troponin. As calcium binds to the troponin, Tropomyosin moves away and exposes the myosin binding site to myosin. One ATP molecule binds to the ATP binding site on the myosin and gives IT energy. Then myosin binds to the exposed myosin binding site on the actin and leads to the formation of cross bridge and moves IT for contraction. This step is known as the power stroke. Actin moves towards the center of the sarcomere. Now another ATP binds to the ATP binding site on the myosin which leads to detachment of actin and myosin means breaking of cross bridge. This process occurs continuously for contraction of muscle. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe study animated channel and leave your queries in comment section.